Rita. Yes. You're homeless here in Seattle. Yes. Tell me about it. Seattle's beautiful. What do you want to know? How do you survive out here? You're living under a bridge. Um, I try to remember that for as many negatives there are, that there must be that many positives. And so I keep looking at the positives and I keep trying to remember that there are beautiful colors and that, that, that I'm saving my life and that that's what matters. And it doesn't matter where I live and it doesn't matter any of it, just so long that I'm alive and that I'm making a difference in this world because no one's gonna stop that. I'm gonna do the right thing and I'm going to save my life and hopefully do good in the lives of others. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <clears throat> when I listen to that, um, I'm thinking in my head, I got you, girl. I got her. I know what she was going through. And like all of my younger selves, the things that that woman wanted me, I'm doing. And we're safe and we're okay. And we're gonna stay that way. When I was a little girl, I spent a lot of time moving from place to place. And a lot of time being utterly terrified of the adults in my life. My mother was a heroin addict. She lost uh, custody of us and left when I was three. My father got custody of us. He, it, well was, he's deceased now, was a diagnosed sociopath who raped and beat his children. We went into foster care when I was eight. I ran away from the foster care system when I was 15. To survive the kind of trauma that I've been through in my life, you have to dissociate. You can't stay there while those things are happening. And instead of going to a dark place, I chose the sun. I chose what made my cells feel alive. I chose what I believed love and joy and fulfillment would feel like. It would feel like sunshine on my skin. It would feel 
like hope, like a new day. And so when those things were happening to me, I chose to be in that place where I felt okay. And those were those points of light. I felt like a throwaway as a child a lot. Even into adulthood, I didn't know how to bring that value back. I tried to hide it so much. I didn't put value and in stock into my experiences because I was so ashamed of myself. I'm done being ashamed of who I am, what I am, every little piece of my being, I'm done because I'm not ashamed of any of it because I had so little control over so much of it, except for making sure that that past person knows that I got her and we're going to have her going forward, right? I am meant to be here. I am meant to have this space. I am meant to have this light. And my light is unique and it does something. And so I truly believe that people can see it. They can see me shine and they identify with that shine in themselves. When you allow yourself to be authentic, to be truly who you are meant to be, and you you show your soul, right? You, you allow that to shine through. People identify with that and, and they want to be there for you and they want to help and and they they see your worth in a future vision, not just what you are right now, but what you can become. I never could have imagined how absolutely content and just beautiful it is to have a home. To have a home to come to, to be safe in, to do a little dance, to make a meal, to play with my animals. I've never thought to myself, look at me, look what I've done. It's look what everyone has lifted me up to be able to do. I am a culmination of the kindnesses that have been shown to me, the opportunities that have been presented to me. There were a lot of people that stepped up to offer a hand when they didn't have to. Bringing a tear to my eye, like you have no idea what your kind act did for me. There are so many kind people in this world. Those are the people that keep us going. Those are the people that in this world, even if they're not getting their name shouted from the roofs and what they're doing is helping the rest of us hold it together for another minute. They're the glue that holds us together.
If you had three wishes, what would they be? Three wishes. I would wish for the strength to continue fighting. I would wish that others could get out of this too. And I'd wish for understanding and compassion for everybody, like just knowledge, I guess. Three wishes are hard. Well, They're hard not to take for yourself. I didn't take any for myself because I am everyone. If there is understanding for everyone, I there's understanding for me. If people have safety and everyone's safe, I'm also safe. We're never alone. We're all part of this whole. I want everyone to have what they need to thrive in this world. Because I believe if I wish for that, that will heal our world. When people have their needs met, they do better. And that, in turn, does better for all the beings in our world. So I really only need one wish. I don't need three. I need one wish. And that wish is, well, I guess, no, the strength to continue. And then to make sure that everyone has what they need to thrive. This world has so much beauty and I'm excited to see the world every day. Even with all of the pain and the tragedy and the things that are happening that are just absolutely horrific, I know for a fact that if we can interrupt those things, the kind of beauty that this world has, it's hard to even describe. This is, our world is amazing and beautiful and complicated and yet has this vibrance and I think if we can learn how to promote the vibrance and promote the beauty and promote the interconnectedness and our ability to be so much more So I think what makes us human is our ability to be, be better.
we can look at our behavior, we can look at our thoughts, and we are full of compassion and empathy. And on a human's best day, we can do phenomenal, amazing things. And I put my hope in that. Thank you so much for watching the story all the way to the end. And a special thank you to all of you on Patreon who help us to make these films. If you want to join us on the journey, please click the link over here, I think. Uh, it just wouldn't be possible without you. Thank you.